Ready? Ready. All right, we're gonna change the front bake pads on a 2017 Grand Sport. Uh, reason why I'm changing them, car's only got 14,000 miles on it. Brake pads are still good, but as you can see by the rims, I just washed this yesterday and you can see the amount of brake dust we still have. So we're gonna change these out for some ceramic pads. I'm gonna take a picture of what we've got. Right there. These are extreme performance. There's a part number right here. I uh, got them off fairly cheap off of Amazon. I've used extreme on my, both my Porsche, Porsches. They seem to be pretty good quality pads. So we're gonna try them on the uh, Grand Sport. I've got it on my Porsche Turbo and my Porsche 911. So, and I have been satisfied with them. It, it's actually the only brake pad that would not squeak on my turbo. So squealing brakes is a trait of the uh, turbo and those extreme pads are the only ones that seem to didn't squeak. So, and they've been on there for a while. All right, so here we got the caliper. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, there's a 13 millimeter bolt here that we'll have to loosen. We take out these two pins uh, and then I'll show you step by step what we do here. But that's, you don't have to take the caliper part off there or anything. But it's these two pins, these really these three pins, one, two, three, that you have to take off. All right, so we're gonna do that. So first we're gonna take off the 13 millimeter. Now, one thing you want to do is make sure your pin is loose here. Sometimes you can just push it, see how that's loose, or just give it a little knock. Just make sure it's loose. You see other people wanting to put something in between the caliper and this, and like a screwdriver and get it out, don't do that. You hit the nut while you just loosened it, or just push it like that, you'll see it's kind of, you know, it's not necessary to put a wedge of screwdriver between here and here. And it comes out. Okay, put that aside. The next thing we're gonna do is take these two pins out. Also seen people take punches, uh, other things to get these out. It's not that difficult really. Here's what I do. I take the end of my plastic screwdriver and I just hit the end of it just like this. There you go. Then, just push down a little bit. And actually, I just do this to push it the rest of the way. It's a little knock. Or you can, right here, between the screws. Like that. That way you're not touching your caliper or anything. And just right here, okay, edge of that right there. There you go. Since the part in the other ones, there we go. There we go. Okay, so here's the pin. Here's this spring. Make sure the Circles towards the bottom, okay? It's a spring. This other one should just pop out now. Got the one out. Okay, we're gonna clean some parts and then go to the next step. All right, next thing you wanna do before you take the pads out, they'll, they'll probably come out now, but uh, I've seen people struggle with this or have different methods. Here's the way I do. I wanna spread the pistons as far as they can, as wide as they can right now. So I, it would be easier for me to stick my new pads in. So these are slightly used, so there's not gonna be much difference, but what I do is just kind of work it out, work my bake with my hands first. And then I just try to squeeze, you see how it's loose now? Let's do it one more time. 
and I try to stick my screwdriver on between the pad. See? Just kind of wedge it in there. Just very easily. And you're like, oh, you're messing up your pad, but remember, I'm not using these anyway. they're pretty loose all right so now we're going to take the the back one out first so you just slide it on out and what i'm going to note is where this little thing is right here that's uh what makes the brakes squeak when they get low the bat pads get low so take note of that see that little metal piece will make the sound once it hits your your disc here so to note these three places, these three areas where the pistons were. I'm going to put a little grease there. And then you're going to put a little grease at both ends. This one looks like they didn't do it, but that's where you should put the grease. So let's get the new pad. All right, I'm going to handle this with my bare hands now. So that one was at the bottom, right? This one's going to be at the bottom too. The extreme. Put the grease on it. The same thing. Note this one has it on top, the squealer. That's the way this one's going to be too. squeeze out of this sucker and we'll be good. Just enough grease to get this done. Okay. Let's stick this one in now. Okay. Yeah, it's a reassembly. So we're first we're gonna put in our pin. Put in the pin, this pin first. And you're gonna align it right there. Push it open.
Okay, looks like we're doing, we've got our new spring here. Remember, circle down to the bottom. And actually this is backwards, so make sure you put it the right way in. It's gonna go just like this. We're gonna take our pin. this just like that okay we're gonna do a bottom one just like this just push it down like that just like that okay got that far now i'm just going to tap these two in i'd use my screwdriver again end of it There's two. You're all done. That's it. Same for the other side.